Hello everyone, how are you all? My name is Aditi and I hope you're having an absolutely fantastic day. Today we're going to talk about hmm, a topic I don't like and I'm sure you hold the same opinion because it's entrance exam. I know, so sad, right? But I did upload a video on this previously too, but it was too short and I think we should add more things to it. Uh, this is for everyone, dedicated to everyone who doesn't have the time or the chance to attend any design tuitions and yet you want to kickstart your preparation in the most practical way, then this video is for you. All you need is a newspaper subscription for the next one month and you need to give me one hour of your time every single day along with a piece of paper and pencil. That's all you need. Okay, and I promise you, you will see a difference in yourself. I have Times of India with me, but you can choose whatever you like. Whichever newspaper is available to you, it will do the job. No matter which design exam you're preparing for, each one of them has a common favorite uh, topic, which is something related to general knowledge. An average newspaper is about 25 to 30 pages. I have the one in front of me is 28 pages, which is a lot for someone to read every single day, especially in the middle of their board preparation. So what we'll do instead is we'll only focus on four pages. The first page, the front page is the most important uh, part of the newspaper. Any piece of news that makes its way to the face of the newspaper is something you should never be alien to. This is something that you should always know about. You don't have the time to read all the text, all the details, just go through the headlines and that will keep you covered. So there's page one, then there is Times Nation, Whatever uh, part of your newspaper covers national news, that is also something you should know about. Because most design exams happen at a national level, which means someone sitting in Chennai versus someone sitting in Tripura will have to face the same question, will have to answer the same question. So obviously all these questions or most of the questions are of national importance. So we will not be missing the Times Nation page. The third page is Times International. Just have a summary. What is happening around the world? Is it celebration, destruction? Is it tension? Which countries have tension? Just the basics, know that much. And last one of the least is time sport. There are several sports that happen throughout the year and it's practically impossible to keep track of each one of them. Just understand the basic summary of all the major events that are happening around us. For example, recently last week, there was the ICC Cricket World Cup tournament that happened. If you're not a cricket fan, you don't need to memorize who scored how many runs, who got how many wickets, but you should be knowing who were the two teams that made it to the finals. And what happened at the finals? Heartbreak. Yeah, when somebody asks you what happens, just say heartbreak and they'll know that, you know, you're updated with all the news. Who won the man of the tournament? That is also something you should know about. All of these basic details. Moving to the next step, there's another very commonly asked question in most of these uh, entrance exams is about logo identification. They'll show you a graphic and you have to identify the brand or uh, they'll ask you to identify the correct logo out of all the four options or three options. Either way, you need to have a good memory with all of the logo designs. And, uh, you know, we live in a world where there are thousands of logos every day that you're surrounded by and it's not uh, practical to remember each one of them, right? So what we'll do instead is we'll focus on the current trending brands and newspaper is a reflection of what is trending in the market. So what we'll do here is you open your newspaper, you take a marker in your hand and then wherever you see any prominent brand, we are going to circle around it and then say the name. Okay, so there is Honda, then you have Lenovo, HDFC, Kotak, so this way you can keep going on for the rest of the newspaper. What we're doing here is we are trying to engage all of our senses to that one brand that you're looking at. We are touching the brand, we are looking at it, we are thinking about it, we are saying it, we are hearing it, so we are engaging our maximum senses in our practice exercise. We have increased the possibility, the probability of us remembering that brand, that logo for a longer duration. You never know what might be asked in your entrances. And when you're taking part in a competition which is happening at a national level, even that one mark logo question can make a lot of difference in your ranking. So we don't want to miss this practice exercise. Coming to the third tip, here you just have to open your newspaper, pick out any random advertisement, any simple random advertisement that you look at and now you have two options. If you're a complete beginner, you've never sketched anything in your life, 
okay then your job here is very simple you just have to replicate what you see in the poster on an a4 sheet use the best of your abilities but don't take more than 20 30 minutes if you're someone who's relatively more comfortable with sketching and you have a little bit of confidence in yourself we are going to make it slightly challenging for you you're still going to look for an advertisement or a poster in the newspaper but now you're going to modify the poster and make it more engaging or fun in whatever your own creative way for example i have this simple advertisement from tata which says limited period offer unlimited happiness now you have to keep the tagline same the product is same but you have to make it more engaging you can add graphics whatever creativity you have so let's try and understand this ad there's some mention of emi amount at the bottom so can we say that this ad is targeting to sell to people who are relatively younger families because that's when you're most concerned about emis and you plan to buy a car right here is the car this is again a four-seater, again a family car, and there is also usage of blue and teal in the background. Now blue, if you have watched my color psychology videos, then you must be knowing is synonymous with trust and calmness. To make it more engaging, can we add a little family element at the bottom? Once you're happy with the idea, with your new graphic, you will sketch the tagline, the product, and your new graphic on an A4 sheet of paper. I'll show you another example. This is a honey advertisement will not change the product, the tagline, none of it. We'll only play around with the graphics. For example, it says, honey, boost your immunity with every job. And we can see a smiling facial expression, which means when you have immunity, you're happy, right? You feel good about yourself. If we have to play around with this advertisement, what we can do? Product will be the same, tagline will be the same. When you're happy, when you boost your immunity, what happens? You feel very energetic. Can we add a winning? athletic posture on the right instead of the smiling face. If you're happy with the mixing and matching, you have to sketch the product, the tagline and the new graphics on an A4 sheet of paper. And like I told you, you do this consistently for a month. This practice exercise will help you at several levels. First of all, this helps you to prepare for poster making questions, which is a hot favorite in most design exams. They give you a general topic and you have to come up with a poster, which is not just effective, but is also engaging to look at. And if you do this practice exercise, like I said, consistently for a month's time, you train your brain to come up with a theme, concept and tagline almost instantly. It works like magic, but it happens with consistency. Also, when you keep sketching every day, it helps you to build your speed and confidence. And once you get comfortable with these human postures and gestures and you sketch these every day, you'll also be very comfortable with storyboarding. If you don't know what storyboarding is and how to begin, you can watch my previous video. I've shared a couple of tips of how you can get started. Now, while you're practicing, sometimes your uh, sketches will not be that good and sometimes they'll be really nice and that'll make you really happy and proud. Now, when that day comes, you don't want to keep your sketch aside. You want to click a picture of it and this is very important and you want to save it on cloud. After your board exams are done and you have some time, some spare time, you take all of these pictures and then you can create a digital portfolio. And to create this, you can use a website called designs.ai. They have a collection of more than 20,000 templates to choose from. Once you've made a choice, just add all your pictures to the presentation and almost instantly you'll have a presentation that will be ready to share. Sometimes colleges do ask for these presentations, so it's always good to be ready with something. The same designs.ai website has several AI features, AI tools that can help you to create logos, brands, videos, mockups, and even banners, all in just a matter of minutes. You can also take your presentation skills to another level. For example, in designs.ai, they have a special tool called SpeechMaker, where you can upload a script and then you can choose the accent, the voice, and you'll have an audio file that you can download. You can club this audio file with the picture of your print ad and then compile it in a video and add it to your portfolio. You can be as creative as you like. You can make use of all of these cool and advanced features at absolutely no cost within their seven day free trial. If you're someone who's in the habit of drawing zigzag lines or broken lines, then you must watch my previous video. I've also shared a technique that you can use to practice straight lines again with the help of newspaper. You don't need to spend thousands and thousands of money for professional training. You can begin the very process of practicing with minimal equipment, something as basic as a newspaper. 
If you have any questions for me or any confusions, you can ask all of that in the comments and I'll try my absolute best to get back as soon as possible. A big thank you to Design Start AI for sponsoring today's tutorial and like I keep saying thousands of times, if you found all of this information helpful, then please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. That motivates me to come up with more and more content for you. Thank you so much for watching and have a fabulous day ahead. I'll see you all very soon.